That's a wild way to start the road trip. Um, what did you make of things overall? Well, I think the game really came down to special teams and, and, and Solgard. You know, I thought uh, obviously our power play two for two. Uh, I thought the penalty kill was excellent. Obviously got a great, great kill there at the end of the game to get it to overtime. And um, I think Solgard was excellent. So uh, wasn't our best. Uh, I certainly thought we had a lot of trouble with our forecheck over the course of the game. And, uh, but we found a way to win the hockey game and, and really that's all that mattered. Uh, yeah, it, it, this team seems pretty confident when things get to the late going and the game is even. Um, and that must just, I guess, come with the experience of the season that you've had so far. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, you gain confidence and swagger as you win hockey games and climb the standings. And obviously our team's feeling good about themselves. And uh, we certainly remind them after the first period that, uh, you know, there's a fine line between uh, having success and, and, and not having success. And uh, that was one of the reminders that we certainly could play better. And, um, you know, I thought the third period was much better. And obviously the power play uh, gave us a chance to, to get back in the hockey game. And, uh, and that's what good teams do. You know, they find a way. And uh, some nights it's a special team. Some nights it's just your five on five play. Some nights your goalie steals the game. And, Tonight, I thought it was a combination of special teams and our goaltending. Um, Lassie Thompson had a, an excellent night. A couple of goals that he thought were his taken away. Um, what can you say about his play? Yeah, I thought, you know, I met with Lassie uh, earlier in the week about his game, and um, I think he's come back with two really good hockey games. You know, he's, uh, you know, when, when he's confident and moving the puck and skating, I mean, he's got so many attributes you like that shows that he's going to play in the NHL someday. And, uh, I thought uh, against Providence he was very, very effective. And again tonight, uh, you know, I would certainly argue without uh, watching the video that he was our best defenseman tonight. Um, what can you say about the performance of Matt Sogard and how does that set things up for tomorrow based on his workload? Yeah, they had 16 red shots. And when I say red, red shots, uh, perimeter shots. So, you know, you, you obviously subtract that from the 48. Uh, yeah, the workload was a little bit hefty tonight. And ideally you have Gus or, or Mando. And, that's just not the case. So uh, I remember my first year where Gus had to play a lot of back-to-backs as a young rookie uh, just because of our goalie situation. And uh, we're in a, uh, a spot now where we have to win hockey games and uh, we have a goalie here that's uh, just, you know, getting his feet wet with us. So uh, Sogart, uh, I suspect he's a good pro, takes care of his body and uh, we'll get him rested up for tomorrow. And lastly, Igor Sokolov snaps a stick in a shootout and still scores. Have you ever seen something like that? Yeah, that was impressive. It was a little bit of karma because I don't know if you noticed in overtime, uh, they had a guy that played uh, multiple seconds. It was almost a minute with a broken stick and uh, obviously the referees, for whatever reason, didn't want to call it. Uh, and that should have been blown down and uh, we should have been on the power play, but they didn't call it. And, uh, you know, so, uh, Soko goes in and uh, I thought his line, he deserved the goal. You know, I thought Sharchi, Soko, and uh, Robbie Arventi was our best line tonight. Uh, Thompson was our best defenseman, and Sogart was excellent. So uh, that's certainly my breakdown uh, watching it live.